You're listening. We've got a Chinese middle, middle school dormitory in the fall of 2022 on the left-hand side of the screen. On the right-hand side of the screen, we have Alcatraz maximum security prison in the USA. By the way, as it stands today, so it's all kind of abandoned and stuff, so it's not yeah. really kept up. <laughs> no. Okay, so oh, let's take a look. Abandoned when? The, the 90s, 70s? I can't remember. I can't remember when it was abandoned. Not that long ago. Okay. Probably, let, I'm going to say 80s. When was it? Let's find out. Remember we flew a drone over Alcatraz? We did. And then it was like warning me on the drone. We didn't go over where it didn't let us. Well, it was like like airspace something or other. I'm like, yeah. We're like, yeah, let's. And we took it right down. Yeah, it turned turned it around. But yeah, we got the footage. Those were early days. Yeah. I was established in 1934. When was it abandoned? And it was abandoned uh, in 1972. Okay, you were right. 70s. Okay, cool. Right, so let's take a look, guys. We're going to play the side-by-side footage. Hmm. You got to admit the similarities are they're they're yeah, pretty spot on, aren't they? I In want fact, Alcatraz to... kind of looks better. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, no, though. I know. Look at those beds. This is actually just good to for people to see what Chinese public school dorms look like. Yeah. Um this is not out of the ordinary at all. This yeah. literally is exactly like places I worked. Yeah, no, absolutely right. You've seen it. Oh, yes. Look at the toilets. Yeah, that's just... Alcatraz toilets are better. This doesn't shock me at all. But no. I think a lot of people might be shocked. Look, the fans are on the roof. That's yeah, normal. That's normal. It's okay. There's the bathrooms here. The, these pit toilets really are just horrendous. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're mad gross. Everything's moldy. I hate that in southern China. Everything yeah. is covered in mold. It accelerates the process. So, you know, like the walls, they yeah. start to degrade massively. You can see it over there. Yeah. Um, everything gets worse because of the mold. Alcatraz, they're not repainting those walls, by the way. No. Just just so you know. So, yeah, we thought that was um, a, a kind of an interesting comparison. Um, People are, like, freaking out. Go back to that. Like, it's, it's, I can't understate this. Yeah. This <laughs> I mean, is, I can't overstate this. This is so normal. Yes. It's not even making me bat an eyelid. No. And when I saw this, I barely even recognized, I barely even noticed it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the fact is that Alcatraz that's been abandoned since the 70s is actually in better shape. Yeah. In a lot of ways. Okay. Yeah. I, I keep looking at the, the left here. Let me look at the right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In a way, it's quite a bit better. I, I'd say. You know what one better thing? <laughs> Never mind, I'm not going to say it. Okay. Well, you can actually leave Alcatraz. You can escape Alcatraz. Yeah, I was going to say it's a tourist destination, but you can't escape that door. <laughs> no, <laughs> you, you can't. You can't. No, it's it's pretty horrid. You know, um, here's the thing. In the past, I made a, a video called, you know, Chinese toilets are wild. Yeah. Public toilets are wild or something pause, like that. Pause it somewhere around here. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'd tell you one thing. The amount of pushback that you get from like the shills, etc. They'll go like, oh, yeah, well, over here is the most high tech bathroom. They, and they go in like a five star hotel. Yeah. They'll go in there to say like, look, that's not true. It is true. That's that's what I like about I liked about China to not be, not because it was poor. I liked it because you can have such a different experience and yes. see how real people live. People don't live in a five-star hotel in China, guys. And no. when you see footage from China, guess where it comes from? It comes from curated government sources, right? Yes. The average Chinese person that goes to school lives in a situation like this. That's yeah. just how it is. And China is not like America. China is not like a first-world country. China is a third-world country outside of the main city centers. It is yes. a third-world country. It is poor. It's it is developing. dirty. It is covered in sewage. There's open sewage. It floods. The infrastructure is horrible, mm. and people live in really bad, bad circumstances in China. Yeah. Do not fall for the propaganda. Well, of course, if you go to uh, a big city like yeah. Beijing or Shenzhen or Shanghai, yeah, then it's first world. Yes. It looks great. There's yep. beautiful streets. There's amazing buildings. The toilets are nice in most of the places. Not everywhere. No. <laughs> no. But, you know, the problem is you can't say that the bad stuff doesn't exist no. just because the good stuff exists. And I think... We, you know, America kind of gets that right, or at least America's portrayed that way in the rest of the world. Everyone keeps showing that shit road in Philadelphia with the yeah, drug, yeah, drug addicts, King, whatever it is. And they're like, look at how America's so run down. And I'll be I like, mean, yeah, that's horrifying. Someone please I'll be deal like, with this. yes, that yeah. shit street in Philadelphia is run down. Mm-hmm. There is a drug problem. There's a homeless problem. It doesn't 
change the fact that there's a lot of great things America's got going for it. Sure. But at the same time, you can't go and say China is amazing and only show the best stuff and somebody points up, but look, there's bad stuff too. You have to be able to take the good and the bad. Yeah, you have to be I, able to say this is real too. I agree. I think that's a great uh, mentality to have. I mm -hmm. also think that it's important to I, – I, I like stats, right? All right. Statistically, America isn't like that road in Philadelphia. No, it's That's not. the bottom. That's the worst, right? Yeah. Yeah. What I have to say about this, this Chinese middle school dorm, isn't the worst in no, China. No, it isn't the it worst. It gets much worse. It does. It does. Dirt floors, buckets. Caves. Caves, guys. There are schools in caves. You, I'm not, and that sounds cool. <laughs> but yeah, it's, but it's not. not. <laughs> it's like a freaking dirt floor cave. No, this is normal. That's the problem is this isn't the Philadelphia road. This is normal. Yeah. Right? This is normal. So, yeah. Even the... Um, the dorm dormitories of the Shenzhen University that I studied in, which is top yes. notch, and the dorms that I saw, you know, the Sushi as it's yeah. called in Guangzhou. I went to a couple of the universities when I was doing um, training and stuff there. They're awful. They're the same. And, They're you know, bad. it's weird. Like on on some of those uh, dorm, the do uh, sorry, on some of the campuses, like in Guangzhou, they'll have quote unquote hotels, which are dormitories for like the foreigners that come there or the the dignitaries of the, every, the, uh, the professors and stuff. Every right? university I worked at had the foreign dorms, which is yeah. like a hotel. Like. Yeah, which is kind of like a low rent hotel, but also for like professors and stuff yeah, when they're a, staying up. Thing, right? But then the actual sushi for the like yeah. actual, you know, you walk past and it's like a sweat box with like five guys with no shirts on with a fan in there trying to keep it cool all crammed into these so bunk sad. beds and it's like what's going on my students were so miserable because it would be like 110 degrees yeah in 90 something percent humidity and they didn't have air conditioning no. in their dorms all guys. the windows are open. covered in mold and they're like lying on those bamboo mats to yep. try and cool themselves down it's they're miserable and they're yeah. falling asleep in class because they're like dying sure you know? So anyway, this anyway. this over here is not like out of the norm, like you say. No, it's just not, and that's yeah. why I think I was so shocked to see the comments. Mm -hmm. And I don't think people are out of touch. I just I think you guys got to get more in touch with how things that, are. You also have to understand that a lot of foreigners that go to say teach English in China, they go and they work for a big university. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they go through yeah. they go through EF or something sure. like that. And what they don't see what the actual public schools look right. like, especially outside the big cities. Right. Anyone who has done jobs in the like far-flung areas and out of the uh, you know urban centers, then, the then this is very yeah. normal. In fact, it's not bad at all, no. right? It's, it's okay. This is what my university looked like yeah. that I worked at. Yeah, exactly. Yeah.